Hey, I'm Jill Riley from The Currents Morning Show, and I'm really excited to have a couple of guests, not just one member, but two members from The Hold Steady as um, a new record, Open Door Policy, is uh, is upon us. And this is really exciting. I was kind of doing the math on it and counting. And uh, the eighth studio album, and I think the, the, the kind of fun thing about that for me is when I was doing college radio, that was one of the years that um, I was doing college radio is when the first Hold Steady record came out. And then when Separation Sunday came out, that was the first year that I worked for The Current. And so, I don't know, I've just been kind of like following your guys' path as uh, as I've been doing radio. So it's really great to have another record here. So, uh, hello, I would like to welcome Craig Finn and uh, Franz Nicolay. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Good. Thanks for having us. All right, so uh, you are in two separate spaces right now. So, Craig, where are you? I am in Brooklyn, New York, in my office okay. uh, here in my apartment. Okay. Franz, where are you at? I'm in the Bay Area, also in the office. In okay. My office. Excellent. All right. Um, so, you know, Franz, I'm used to seeing you with, like, a little mustache, but you're kind of – you're hitting that pandemic beard pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like to see it. <laughs> <laughs> the mustache went to ground about 10 years ago, but I, yeah, it was, <laughs> it's, it's, the winter of our discontent needed a discontent beard. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, if you got rid of that mustache 10 years ago, apparently I was in denial about it because that's what I picture when, uh, whenever I see your name. Um, well, congratulations, you guys. Uh, open door policy. Uh, I got, I guess my first question about the record um, has it been done for a long time and you guys have just been kind of sitting and waiting on it? Yeah, uh, it was most almost all done in December 2019. I guess it had to be mixed. But, um, you know, I think probably like a lot of artists you're going to talk to, we, we sat there and said, when are we going to put this out? Like, you know, you always want to time it for some shows. And when are we going to play these shows that will be the record release show and all this and, play, you know, play some dates around it. And those never came, right? Um, so um, it felt like um, it might have dragged out a little bit because of that, because we were kind of waiting to see what was going to happen. And then eventually it was like, it's getting a little old. Let's let's just put it out. And here we are. Um, so, it, but it'll be great to be, great to have it out. It's been uh, it was recorded in two sessions in 2019, and uh, you know, hopefully, it's aged like a fine wine. <laughs> well, and that's the thing too. When I've been talking to artists, I mean, that is a kind of a common thread right now. It's like, well, we've been sitting on this album for a while and we're not going to be able to tour yet. So we might as well get it out. And then there's kind of that worry, well, we've been sitting with this album for a year, but it's going to be new to people, but yet we've been sitting on it for a year. So I, I'm sure it's, um, it's one thing to kind of live with an album on a regular cycle, but then just to kind of have the whole thing extended out like this. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm in the, on the positive of that, we haven't like gone out and played a ton of shows and played the songs into the, you know, into the ground. So I think that it still feels a little fresh. I haven't been like listening to it over and over in my apartment. Um, mixing, you always get a little more of it than you, than you want, but um, we mixed it, you know, last summer. So uh, I, I think it's going to feel fresh when it comes out. Yeah. And of, of course, uh, Craig Finn is going to say on the positive side, <laughs> on the stay positive side of things, which, you know what? I should be doing more often. Um, okay, so the record Open Door Policy. Well, the, the song that we've been playing on The Current um, is uh, Family Farm, so the uh, the first single. And I wonder if you guys could uh, kind of talk about this song and, um, you know, how did this one start? You know, where did it come in the songwriting process? Um, you know, Franz, I'd love to have you jump in on this as well. Sure. This was, I think... I forget which of the two sessions it was, but it was Tad sent me a demo that he had of, of basically the guitar, the guitars for the first couple sections, and I kind of chopped it up and added the piano and, and bells parts and and the horn idea, and and it seemed like I mean it's one of those ones that you hear right away and, you're, and you say oh this is going to work. Not only is it going to work, but I know exactly how it's going to work. I would also say that this is a, uh, you know, Franz came back to the band in 2016, but this is like, uh, and we've, we've been kind of releasing singles uh, mostly ever since. And in 2019, we compiled them to make a, 
um, the thrashing through the passion a collection. Um, but th- this is maybe the first in some respects album that we've recorded as this new six piece lineup or hold steady 3.0, however you want to say it. And I would say that this is to me, a classic hold steady song. If you think a driving Tad Kubler riff, a sort of scene change piano break from Franz, um, it kind of, it kind of ticks all the boxes of a, you know, a hold steady song. That was my exact reaction, Craig, when I heard it. I went, this sounds like the Hold Steady. I mean, this is what I expect the Hold Steady to sound like. But like you said, kind of in this 3.0 fashion. Well, I know that you guys um, have put some videos together for us. So we're going to be able to hear these songs during this session, which is great. Um, So let's uh, let's check out the video for uh, Family Farm as uh, we're doing a current session with... Craig and Franz from the Hold Steady. St. Catherine's was a nightmare. You know they took away my headphones. Sure they let you keep your hands set But the courtyard is a dead zone And the nurse that they assigned me Had a eruption as a ringtone Blasting out through built-in speakers like it's bug spray Buzzing like a hornet apple blown I'd advise you not to leave Take some nickels from the fountain Make some friends and fall asleep Let your sins be of a mission I wish you wouldn't engage with all these creeps Cause they're never gonna love you That one specific way that you want them all to love you Singing this must be the place So faithful as its limits I just want to see his face Before she took her shot She said a little grace So Lord grant me the power To stop these hands from shaking I was falling in the fountain Since a week or so before Rattled by the accident My shoulders were still sore I almost rolled my eyes When they asked me how to score But sometimes it feels sweet To be the teacher She was calling through the car But I could not resist her charms she brought me to a fortress they called the family farm Out along the towers there were guards with heavy arms Guess there was some tension with the neighbors Stripping on the airstrip, taking on the runway Laughing at the jets as we watched them fly away She says you'll get what you get when you push too far ahead Put us in these places for a reason is a current virtual session with the Hold Steady, and I've got Craig Finn and Franz Nicolay with me. Um, so the videos that you guys cut uh, to send over to The Current for our interview today, um, uh, you guys recorded this stuff at uh, Brooklyn Bowl? Yeah, we do a, um, we do, it's our, it was our fifth year this year of the Brooklyn Bowl. We do a four, four nights at the Bowl every year. We call it Massive Nights. And uh, it's become kind of the centerpiece of our year. It's the always the weekend after Thanksgiving. And uh, 
It's, as I call it, the most wonderful time of the year. And uh, this mm-hmm. year we had to, you know, improvise a little. And we played a, uh, uh, an empty club, um, but we had video monitors around the club. And we could see through the sort of Zoom technology, people, the people in their living rooms watching us or wherever they were watching from. And uh, that made it a lot easier and uh, really gave a sense of the community that's around the band. And uh, it ended up being... Um, I guess a lot better than I thought it was even kind of emotional to see people around the world in different time zones, holding up signs from where they were, uh, holding up their pets, et cetera. Um, so yeah, uh, we hope next year will be an in-person Brooklyn bowl, but you know, knock on wood. Right. Um, what did it feel like to be on stage together? I mean, just to like even do it in that capacity and almost have that virtual audience. Um, but but you were still inside of a venue. I mean, you know, how did that feel to be on stage together? I got a little emotional just seeing people set up the stage and putting up microphones. <laughs> you know, it's like people get right. to do the job that they're good at. Yeah, it was. I mean, it. it, it because like Franz and Steve um, live in uh, California and Memphis, respectively, um, it was the first time we'd seen each other personally, you know, and uh, there was something um, emotional about just seeing the people. And uh, we'd done a lot of Zoom things. We talked about mixing the record through Zoom, but, you know, to see people in person and there's something about just hearing the kick drum uh, in live and, you know, something that kind of hits your chest uh, that was something I didn't know I was missing quite as much as I, as I was, but that that felt really good to hear the buzz of an amp or the kick drum, etc. Yeah, and it's just still going to gonna be, be it's still going to be something right? when. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. <laughs> it's still going to be something the first time we get to do it in a room full of people. That, yeah, that's for sure. I don't know if I'm I want, emotionally yeah. prepared for that. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what that how the energy is going to feel from the audience. I mean. I, I have no idea what to expect as an audience member of how I'm f- going to react in the moment when a band that I've been just itching to see takes the stage. But I'm also a crier, so <laughs> I have a feeling that it's going to be like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a crier too, so I worry about our first time back. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'll almost be like a good group therapy for everyone. Like, okay, we got through this thing together. And maybe instead of talking it out, you know, we'll just enjoy the music together. Uh, The Hold Steady Open Door Policy. Again, we've been playing the song Family Farm. Um, And, you know, we talked a little bit about how, you know, that song is like, that's a classic Hold Steady song. It really has that sound. Um, What was kind of the overall theme that you guys were going for for this new record? I think that, the, you know, to me, the, the thing about this new record is, you know, uh, Franz was not in the band for a little while. He came back um, and uh, and we came kind of in his, in his absence. We had Steve Selvage. When we came back, uh, we became kind of the super steady. We got we have Franz and Steve, um, you know, sort of like when the E Street Band came back and they had Nils and little Steve. And I don't know who gets to be who in that equation, but. <laughs> I think that, you know, it was really awesome in watching um, Steve and Franz kind of figure out where, you know, where the room for each other was, um, you know, physically on stage, but also, you know, especially musically. And I think that sort of, as I say, the whole Steady 3.0 and this record in some ways is defined by the way they're playing with each other and playing against each other. And created, I think, you know, an update of our sound um, in some ways. And I think that that, to me, is the story of the record musically. How about for you, Franz? Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, there was the on the like the boys and girls and stay positive years. There was you could you could almost always listen to the song and and be like, oh, this this is a song that was built around Tad's riff. And then there's the piano counter line or these sort of two cogs working together. And on the stuff that we've had with the three of us, it's never quite that clear cut. It's always, it's just these sort of, the parts are always melding together and it has this real tapestry quality to it. I also Franz, think it feels that, pretty um, good. Oh, sorry. Oh, it feels pretty good to be back in the band, doesn't it? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And at every step of the way, yeah. there's been these, <laughs> there's been these moments of new appreciation for it, you know, like, like those getting to, you know, Getting the the, the 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 streaming shows in 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 uh, December and you know 
yeah, new levels of appreciation at every step. Sure. Yeah, good. Craig, what were you going to uh, jump in? And uh... I was saying that, um, you know, I think that, uh, and, and partially due to um, the guy who's producing the records, Josh Kaufman, but uh, I think partially just to go where our headspace is, um, all the recordings and really all the shows we've done are very fun. And I sort of feel like when the Hold Steady's having fun, it, it gets contagious. And I think we make our best music and our um, that sort of celebratory vibe comes out. Um, and I feel like, you know, in, in both of these last recordings, you can, you can hear the joy that, that is, uh, part of the band right now. The Hold Steady, the new record is Open Door Policy. And, uh, we want to splice in another video here, uh, that was recorded live from the Brooklyn Bowl. And the next song is called Spices. Do you guys want to help me set this one up? Kind of give me a little backstory on this song. Yeah, um... I think that Spices is interesting in the Hold Steady catalog, but because to me, it's the Hold Steady song that sounds most like Lifter Puller, my old band that Tad was into. So um, I think, you know, it's not exactly, but I feel like it's 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 maybe a, a little throwback to Lifter Puller in, in my mind. Where do you think that came from? It's just naturally or? Well, you know, uh, it's funny, the, the producer um, of uh, a record, Josh Kaufman, who I mentioned, uh, was a, a Lifter Puller fan. In fact, I, I think when we started getting together, he knew possibly Lifter Puller more than the Hold Steady. And uh, so I think there was some encouragement um, on when that riff came in to kind of head it, to make it head in that direction. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I think there's also, there's there's two members of Lifter Puller uh, in the studio, so it can go that way sometimes. Sure. Well, uh, all right. So I guess we'll leave it up to the uh, Lifter Polar fans here in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. See if you can hear it in this one. Um, and again, a performance from the Brooklyn Bowl, The Hold Steady, another new one called Spices. This is the first time we've ever played this song for people. Um, and uh, we want to share it with you. It's called Spices. <laughs> a picture of a plethora of poker chips spread out on the bed between the mouth and the legs she said there's pretty many people already still a wish you were here hadn't really seen her since the previous winter she'd been a drop dead number since later last december but here she is rising again happy easter you want to go get some beers and all the bartenders were strangling their shakers it was springtime in the sweet part of the city It's nice to hit the taverns with some familiar companions I kind of like it when she's laughing at me Such more up to old tricks. Riding on the tips, we're trying to find the right play. Yeah, said maybe on the corner by Central Smoking Gift. I'll be just before daybreak. But she wants to make it clear that she's done with all that other stuff. Sick of all the drama club, tired of all the talking groups. She slept over on a Saturday night, and in the morning we watched the parade. And all the majorettes had the sun in her eyes And all the old cars looked for change The cops and the kilts, they had me nervous as hell But it felt pretty cool when she kissed me We're at the table and she's yelling out her order With no vodka and a giant Dr. Pepper Something wrapped in a black wax paper We're gonna see where this goes in a sponge sugar Something drenched her in a salt shaker We saw the wish of an icebreaker We want to see where this goes She makes it really clear that she's a way different person Than the person that I knew in the past Well, once she starts rolling, it's wild like the ocean The ocean is violent and vast We're in the east and we're taking on water We've been taking on whatever they offer Trading liquor for the shipwreck sailors We're gonna see where this goes we're in the woods with a difficult decision
decision Majorette's not paying much attention And if the band never plays a resurrection It's at the end of the show Turning liquor in a sponge sugar Something extra in a salt shaker She said that we should try to do this every Easter I said let's see how it goes We still gotta see the end of the show Well, that was a performance of Spices from the Hold Steady, live from the Brooklyn Bowl. Um, you know, playing in an actual venue, um, on a stage with the band together, you'd almost think that it was a regular show. And then you look out into the audience and it may, maybe some, you know, people working on the tech side out there, but really it's, you know, just kind of like a virtual audience. But But really great to see just really great to see you guys back on stage together to be able to just get a look at what that uh and it's almost like a preview of what we're going to get to see someday i hope so well um you know craig the last time i talked to you you know i was checking in with a bunch of musicians on the phone you know and mm. and just to think that that was probably almost a year ago when I was just calling people or having them call me and we were just kind of having this like, how are you doing? You know, it, it was so early into the pandemic and it was just kind of doing this check in and maybe I should have kept doing them throughout the year. But I mean, at this point, you know, it's I know that it feels good to have a new record. Um, it probably feels good to, you know, get this get this record out into the world and and to think about what what touring will look like eventually. But, you know, how are you guys doing? I mean, how are you feeling about all this? Franz? Yeah, yeah I mean, we, I feel like, it, you know, over the past year, everybody's gone through all the different stages and now it's just sort of leaning into the slog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess, honestly, is how I feel about it right now. It's nice to have this, this process of the record coming out as a, as a kind of distraction. Um, yeah, you know, uh, when we were, like I said, we do the Brooklyn Bowl in December every year, but we also do a weekend in London uh, the first weekend of every March. And uh, those are the last shows we played live. And we really got right in under the wire. I mean, I think our last show was about March 8th in London. And I felt like when we landed in the States, the pandemic was on, you know. Um, yeah. I think that we Monday is when we landed and then that Wednesday is when they started calling off the NBA games and all that. And, and it sort of felt like, here we go. So we're coming up on a year of it. You know, it feels like an anniversary. And we're actually going to do some shows from the Brooklyn Bowl uh, that weekend. Uh, we call it the Weekender. But we're going to go on stage at 3 p.m. New York time to kind of uh, time it for the, the people in the UK that we'd normally be playing with. So that's um, another kind of bittersweet thing. We're excited for that, but it feels like, wow, we've gone a full year around the clock here. And um, I do remember talking to you and feeling like, you know, well, we got a couple months and uh, someone pointed out the other day to me that, or yeah, I saw on social media that um, remember when the celebrity saying, imagine, um, that was like a week into the pandemic. That was, that was. I had uh, completely forgotten about that. <laughs> yeah. And that was like, I mean, that was like a week or two in. Like, like they, they could have held off on that one a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think like we all got on board with this, we're all in this together thing really early. And then it was like, like before we even really needed our spirits lifted, we were having our spirits lifted. <laughs> and uh, yeah. and yeah, like Franz, I agree that that I'm I'm in this kind of slog and I don't do well when I don't feel like I'm in control, which is something I'm working out. But you know, it I really just feel out of control because I like to know when the end date is. I like to know when the start mm -hmm. date is. And um and, and this kind of this 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 slog or this this feeling that like maybe time is being stolen from us or something. I don't know. Is that something that crosses your guys' minds? No question. You know, I yeah. mean, and I, I think, you know, everybody's developed their own coping mechanisms, um, which, you know, it, maybe have a have a have legs now if this is going to go on for however more long longer it's going to go on. But in the absence of, um, you know, 
in the absence of a unified uh, story of pe- of someone in the government saying, "Here's what everybody has to do to get through this." You know, we just have this patchwork of individual coping mechanisms that we've sort of cobbled together, and, and I guess that's how it's going to be. I uh, I bought a new guitar uh, the other day just because, I, like, I'm not a gear person, but I feel like I've hit the like board shopping part of the pandemic, which is way outside of my personality. Uh, but you know, I was just like, oh, this will give me pleasure for a day or two. Um, right. So. <laughs> oh, I hear I you totally on that. I totally did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like i just want something to just make me feel good even if it's for a couple of weeks you know um yeah and i think that's yeah. i mean that's a relatable thing with uh, just about anybody just to find something to kind of take the place although you know when when you do you when you have an instrument and you're actually going to play it that's a helpful thing um but you know i, I don't know the exact like data on it, or I haven't seen the statistics, but I got to wonder how many instruments were sold in the last year. I saw an article saying that they'd sold a lot of guitars this year, (laughs) for sure. Plus just frivolous internet shopping. Then you have the mail to look forward to for a couple of days. Like, oh, maybe it's coming today. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I hear you. (laughs) (laughs) Give yourself a little break. Give yourself a little goal. Uh, Craig Finn and Franz Nicolay from the Hold Steady, where we've just been uh, chatting about the new record, Open Door Policy, but you know, also kind of reflecting on the past year. And you know, I do, I do feel though that we are over some kind of hump. You know, we're over some kind of hump. There's a light there; it's dim, but I'm, I, I really am. I feel like I'm at least starting to see it. And maybe that's because sometimes I, maybe I have a toxic positivity about myself or I'm just trying to look on the bright side too much. But I think that's kind of at the point where I feel like we're at. And and I can tell you that we're just here in the Twin Cities. I mean, all over the country, all over the world, you know, people are just looking forward to having their, their favorite band back on the road. And I'm sure that you're hearing that from Hold Steady fans, that they can't wait yeah. to see your next concert. Yeah, yeah. I'm hearing it from my own brain. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, I well, mean, congratulations, yeah, on the new record. Yeah, what were you going to say, Craig? I'm saying I'm, I'm saying it about my favorite bands. Like, I can't wait to be an audience member as well, a uh, a, a performer as well as an audience member. You know, I think uh, that um, a live in person baseball game and a beer on a bar stool is uh are like the th- my my three <laughs> very simple uh goals but i hope i get to do some of them soon i hope so too well before i let you guys go um i know that we have another video uh live from brooklyn bowl and another song to talk about and i wonder if you could uh tell me about heavy covenant before we wrap up heavy covenant was there were it was two different demos that i made when we were down in nashville last year uh in our hotel room and and um and Craig and, and Josh said, what if we just spliced them together? <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> That's basically the story. Yeah, it worked. And it's, it's a song that uh, kind of, uh, like a few of them, kind of deals with, um, I think, about technology and how we kind of use our phones to, to be different people, to connect with people, um, you know, sometimes for better and sometimes for worse. And uh, that's, a few, that's something that comes up on a few songs on the record, and this is one of them. All right, well, let's take a listen and let's take a look. This is a new one. With the wine glass on the microwave And the ashtray in the kitchen and I could tell that it was difficult To bring that sort of subject up It was tough to bring the subject up Sleeper city on the power play In the garden with a day to spare And if you know the perfect words to say 
you can get it almost anywhere That's a pretty heavy covenant To make someone powerless He said I'll ask about that other stuff If you're still prepared to pay for it Another perfect place to go Slide your little phone into the airplane mode Set my closer, little south of downtown in the front of Trove. Hearing stories in the scorch marks, prairies in the burly with bright lights. Call down to the Siask and say, We're gonna need another night. We're gonna stay a second night. I sell software made for offices It increases their efficiency Hospitals and local governments It's a pretty heavy covenant In the taxi to the airport I was hoping for Tucson around town Staring at the skyline Right back at my phone to find a friend It seems like everybody is a couple different people in this one life I'm sorry but my meeting got too late, I'm gonna need another night At first I watched him play his instruments A resonator with a missing string Then I asked him about the songs he did How he decides what songs he's gonna sing Then I asked if I could shake his hand Then I palmed him almost 40 bucks Then I asked about the other stuff With the wine glass on the microwave The ashtray in the kitchenette I could tell that it was difficult Sleeper city on the underplay You can get it almost anywhere If you know the perfect words to say That's a pretty heavy covenant To make with someone powerless I Said I'll ask about that other stuff Met a guy up in the music club Gave him almost 40 bucks To make it safe to bring the subject up Cause it's tough to bring the subject up Cause it's tough to bring the subject up That's a pretty heavy covenant Alright, thanks to the Horn Study for joining us. They'll be back. All right, another new song from the Hold Steady, Heavy Covenant. And I just want to say thank you again to Franz Nicolay and Craig Finn of the Hold Steady for joining me today here on The Current to talk about the new record, Open Door Policy, which uh, it is out today, by the way. So, you know, congratulations on this record. And number eight, I mean, that's that's pretty incredible. Thank you. It feels great. It feels, uh, I'm, you know, you, uh, I feel like Paul Stanley comes out at it after every Kiss record gets released and said it's the best Kiss ever, but I really am feeling that way about this Hold Steady record. So um, uh, it's, it, it's feeling really good. Excellent. Uh, Franz, do you have any final thoughts? Any burning desires before I let you go? <laughs> <laughs> I second everything that Craig says. <laughs> Excellent. Well, that's why you're good. It's good to have you guys in a band together. Um, again, thanks, you guys. Craig, Franz, uh, take care, and we'll see you on the other side of this, okay? Thanks so much thanks for, having, for us. having us. All right. Bye-bye.